It's a pleasure to be with you all here in Jakarta, and I want to thank you for coming today. Here's the uh, world reports that we're launching this morning. Yet courageous people, time and again, still take extraordinary risks to take to the streets, even in places like Afghanistan and China, to stand up for their rights. India, under Prime Minister Modi, has also seen many similar abuses, the systematic discrimination against religious minorities, especially Muslims, the stifling of peaceful dissent, the use of technology to suppress free expression and tighten its grip on power. We see Indonesia keen to play a greater role in world affairs, successfully chairing the G20 last year. And this year, we urge Indonesia to use the ASEAN chairmanship effectively to resolve the crisis in Myanmar. The world's response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine shows what is possible when governments work together. But the people of Afghanistan and Myanmar quite rightly ask where was the international community's conscience when their daily lives were shattered and their democratically elected governments overthrown. As chair of ASEAN, Indonesia should take steps to hold the Myanmar junta to account for its failure to implement the five-point consensus, which was agreed in April 2021. Most Rohingya want to go home, but they want safety, they want equal treatment, they want their land back, and they want the perpetrators of ethnic cleansing and acts of genocide held to account. But what we need now going forward is proper accountability for, these, for the victims of those abuses and a genuine commitment going forward to safeguarding human rights for everyone.